Up until now, most waterfowl hunters use number four shot or larger. Well, how will some bismuth number five shot stack up against the number fours? Hey, this is George with the New Hunter's Guide, and ever since I started hunting waterfowl, I've used almost exclusively number four shot. I started with steel, I graduated to bismuth, and since then I have not turned back. It has been my number one favorite shot for all around waterfowl hunting. However, Boss has been tempting me with their copper plated bismuth number five shot. They consider this to be the workhorse of their lineup. They recommend number fives for shooting just about everything. So today I want to do some testing with the number fives versus their copper plated bismuth number fours. If you've seen many of my videos, I've done a lot of testing with the number fours against all different kinds of ammo, choke tubes, pattern testing, all kinds of stuff across the board. And today I want to see how the number fives match up against the number fours. We're going to compare them with some pattern testing and ballistics gel testing. These are basically the exact same shell, 1,350 feet per second and 3 inch 1.5 ounces of shot. The only difference is this one is number 5 and this one is number 4. And we're going to test those today shooting them through my Mossberg 940 Pro Waterfowl with its 28 inch barrel and the Carlson's Bismuth Bone Buster Extended Range Choke Tube. All right, let's head down to the range. And we are down at the range. I got eye protection for ears. I got my Tetras in and we're going to lead off with the number 4. And we'll hit the other side with the number five. All right, let's go see how we did on the paper. All right, let's take a look at this paper. First, we have the number fours. Good pattern. I might have been a little bit low. Now we've got the number fives. Definitely more of them on there. More on the duck, but I think I was a little higher on that one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and count every single pellet, get the data together for that. But first, it's time for the ballistics gel. And now I've got the ballistics gel set up at 40 yards, and we're gonna start with the number fours. All right, we're gonna go flip the block of gel around. It's a lot easier when you flip it around because these pellets are not that much bigger or smaller so you can see exactly which ones are coming from what side. Now the gel's set up and turned around and we're gonna hit it with the boss number fives. And now I just so happen to have in my pocket a heavy shot, heavy steel, number four going at 1500 feet per second with one and a quarter ounce load. Just had some laying around. Why don't we shoot this into a two and see how this does against the boss number five? All right, we're gonna go take a look at the gel and see what happened here, spice things up a bit. Guys, but first I need to let you know nobody is sponsoring this video, but I would appreciate it if you'd support the channel by giving it a thumbs up. And if you like test videos like this, kicking the tires on assumptions and examining things other people aren't talking about, go ahead and hit the subscribe button also. All right, let's go see what happened. And now the moment of truth, let's take a look at this gel. So first from right to left are the number fours. That looks like about three and a half inches. From left to right, we've got the other two. Looks like the number fives are maybe going to three. Looks like the steels maybe doing two and a half. So now eyeballing it like that might be enough for some people, but absolutely not me. So I'm gonna count every single pellet of each one, average them, and get the real numbers. Now the work begins. Well, we got some really interesting data on this one, guys. I bet you didn't see that heavy shot round getting thrown in there, but let's take a look at this chart right here. So kicking it off first, we had the boss, 150 pellets in the circle, 65% pattern on the paper, versus the boss number fives, 203 pellets on the paper, 69% pattern. Now, I've shot these multiple times before. I've seen them both in the 70 to 72% pattern range. So 
them. This was not either one's best pattern, but if you just look at the difference in pellets or the difference between the two, the Boss number five came out on top 36% more pellets in the circle. Now it also has about 36% more pellets in the load. So that is not surprising, but that is still a lot more pellets in the circle, a lot more pellets on the duck. Now you look at the ballistics gel penetration. I thought this part was really interesting. The number fours had 3.3 inches of penetration versus the number fives at 2.43 inches of penetration. So that the boss number fives actually were 36% under, meaning the number fours what beat by 36% in pattern, but they were up 36% in penetration, which I find to be absolutely fascinating, basically an even trade-off between the two. But then you look at the heavy shot number fours, also very interesting, 2.46 inches of penetration in the gel. So the heavy shot actually came out 1% higher than the number five boss. So steel number fours, one, now that is, that's so small, that could literally just be rounding error. There is no way to say for sure that that's any definitive difference. So you pretty much have exactly the same penetration for bismuth number five versus steel number fours. So if you shoot steel number four and you're wondering, you know, maybe should I try some bismuth number fives? I think the data here absolutely 100% justifies it. You get a lot more pellets, you're able to do a lot of damage, and you're able to have that advantage when it comes to smaller birds. Now, is the boss number five just as good for ducks and geese? Based on the data, guys, I'm gonna have to say no. It's definitely gonna do the job for small ducks. It's gonna do the job for medium-sized ducks. Early season geese at normal range, yeah, 100% gonna be fine. If you're talking about late season honkers and potentially taking long shots, then I would absolutely go with the number fours. Now, does this change my perspective on number four still being my favorite load? I'm gonna say no, I still like the number fours. I think they're the best balance for me, but I would absolutely shoot these number fives in the early season and at any duck in the sky. But I like the number fours because I just buy a case of them and they work good for me for everything. And of course, if you take a look at those penetration numbers, the bismuth number fours utterly and totally crush the steel number fours. So Boss really took it away there versus the heavy steel. And if you want to see more about that, check out this video right here where I did some head-to-head -head testing with the Boss number fours versus the heavy steel number fours. And another video right here where I did some testing with the Boss number fours versus Kent's Fast Steel number fours. Guys, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, God bless you and go get them in the woods.